What's up my friends, John Levesque here, and today I am going to start teaching you the basics of AI. And more specifically, we're going to start with ChatGPT. I think it's the AI that most people know, mo are most familiar with. It's kind of become the synonymous tool for most users. And I think if you're thinking of AI and you ask most people which tool do they know, which, which AI tool could they name, ChatGPT would be the first one. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend a few minutes here where I'm going to actually introduce you to the tool, a couple key features to look out for, but then I'm actually going to use it right in front of you to kind of help me plan out the rest of this series so you can see what's a quick way to just start using AI. I think that's one of the biggest things I hear from folks is, well, what do I do with it? How do I use it? What are the, some of the things I can do? And honestly, one of the cool things about AI is it can actually help you answer that question. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to pull up my screen here and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to start on the web version. This is chatgpt.com. You can see right here up in the title bar. And you're going to notice that I actually created a brand new account, uh, which is on the base plan. So I have not paid for anything so that we can be in the same place. If you're brand new to this, you likely will not have a paid account as well. And so let's go ahead and let me show you just a couple key things. So first things first, if you ever want to start a new conversation with ChatGPT, you just click new chat right here. Okay. And that will just refresh this page. And so if I were to go ahead and say, hello, you can see a conversation starts. If I hit new chat, my example chat down here moves down and now I have another new one right above. So new chat always starts a new conversation. Library. Library is where if you ask ChatGPT to create imagery for you, you can always find everything that you created in the past in the library. Sora is the video creation tool for ChatGPT. GPTs are a custom model where you can kind of tweak a GPT or a an open AI model for your purposes. There's a whole bunch of different ones in there, tutors and Canva GPTs and language teachers and, and spec makers, product managers. Like there's just a ton of different specific GPTs that you can go and chat to to do very specific things. But a couple of things I want to call out, you'll notice here, there is no projects. Uh, there's no organization here for projects. That is a plus feature. Also, I cannot change the model. So when you upgrade, there are various different models that you can talk to in ChatGPT. There's the Model 4, there's the O3, there's 4.5, and they all have slightly different things that they're strong at. But here, you're basically just talking to the base model, which they don't even call out what it is here. If I had to guess, it's probably like 3.5 turbo. If that means nothing to you, don't worry about it. So from here, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is, is I'm going to go ahead and log into my pro account. Um, sorry, plus account, because I don't have pro. I have plus, the $20 a month plan. And I will show you a couple cool things about changing over to that plan. Failed to get my settings. Cool. Okay, here we go. You're going to see there's some new things over here. Obviously, new chat, library, all that's the same. GPTs, Sora, uh, those are there. Now, Codex is something new. Codex is an operator. Uh, it is a coding version of GPT uh, that you can plug into your GitHub to help you with coding tasks. And so that's kind of neat. Now, you'll also notice there is an area here for projects. Uh, now, projects are an organization structure where we can take a bunch of documents or a bunch of conversations, organize them together in one space, and then keep a history or keep context about everything we discussed in that space. So every new conversation we have builds upon the past, which is super, super helpful if you're doing like analysis or revisions or social media planning, you know, you can see I have a lot of different categories or a lot of different projects over here. Sorry, uh, category creation is one of my projects. And then you can see all kinds of different chats. Like I talk to chat GPT all the time. And so there are chats going back uh, for me, probably a couple of years at this point. Like there is a lot of history here. All right. One last thing I want to show you. Um, if you go ahead and click on your icon up here in the top right, and you go to settings, 
Uh, and then you go to personalization. Uh, you can actually give custom instructions uh, to the bot. Now, you saw that my custom instructions couldn't be pulled. And so everything here is deleted. I have a whole bunch of custom instructions that I normally use. But you can see here how you could customize your ChatGPT to work better for you in certain ways or to be more like you in certain ways. Okay, so I just logged back in real fast. You can see here, I have a whole bunch of personalization. I have, cut, like, what do I do for work? What traits do I want ChatGPT to have? I have a whole bunch of stuff in here. Anything that ChatGPT should know about me, right? And so there's a whole bunch of stuff and it's always enabled for new chats. So ChatGPT is always using these details in relevance to understanding who I am in the situation, which I find to be very helpful. Some people get nervous. Oh, it knows too much about me. I am not one of those people. I tend to think if I can give this AI more information, it can actually help me more effectively, which I have found to be true. So let's go ahead and jump into a brand new project and we're going to call it John Social Media Reborn. Okay, and we'll create a brand new project here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add some instructions. And so this is another cool part of projects that I really like because we can put a custom intent or a set of guidelines on top of this conversation. So here's what I'm gonna do. And I won't speak it as I type it so that I can just type it out really fast. Okay, so. You can see here that I've given a role, right? You're an expert in social media PR and branding. I've told it that it has expertise, right? 20 years of experience. I've told it how I want it to participate, not just a guide, a partner, and a coach, but also a key player in defining and shaping the strategy we take forward. So this GPT, this conversation, understands that I'm looking to it to bring some of its expertise to help guide me, but also to push back and help me shape what I'm doing. And so it won't just be a yes man, ideally. And so we'll go ahead and save these instructions. And now we can begin our first conversation. Oh, real fast, before I go forward, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually change the model. Remember I said when we upgrade and go to the plus, we can change the model. You can see there's a bunch of different ones here fastest at advanced reasoning, great at coding, great for most tasks, uh, good for writing and exploring ideas, 4.5, this is the research model. And so if we want it to look up and research things for us, we can have it do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and go with O3 for right now, as I think that O3 is a pretty strong model. It's not the fastest, but it does advanced reasoning, which I like. I'm also gonna go ahead and turn on search the web. So if O3 wants to go and search the web for anything, they can go ahead and do that as part of their process and preparation or understanding. So here we go. All right, so what I did here is I, you can tell, I, I didn't spare words, right? I got detailed. Today I'd like to begin for us making a plan for me to relaunch my social media. I have a YouTube channel, a LinkedIn, a Threads, a Substack, and my own website. I wanna use each of these channels, but each will need to be transformed as we make a new holistic approach forward, right? Cause like I have to rebrand. Like I was, I was Microsoft guy, and then I was DocuSign guy, and then I was outdoor guy, and now, you know, I'm founder, and I still love all those things, but I really want to focus on vibe coding and AI tutorials and stuff like this, really pushing our skills forward. I want to focus on building my startup, and I want to focus on, obviously, creating content, written video, all of that, sharing knowledge, sharing thoughts, and expertise. And so I account for all that here, and then, you know, I talk about all of the things I want to cover the prompted profit community, John Levick tutorials, building my startup, and then vibe coding passion projects. Now, one more thing, I'm, I know I sped that all up and I'm gonna do this in real time. This is an important one. 
I always ask when I'm starting like this, do you have any questions for me that you need clarified? Okay, and now we hit enter and let's see what they do. So it says thinking, clarifying. I should ask some clarifying questions before diving in. I'll adapt the tone to be casual so you can see it doing some searching here and it's gonna come back to me with some questions. Before we dive into designing banners and cranking out a content calendar, a few quick checkpoints. Okay, so now it has a bunch of questions for me. So let me go ahead and go through and answer those real fast and I'll speed this up with the magic of post-processing. Okay, so I went through and answered all their questions. You know, they did one, one and two, two, one and two, three, one and two, four, one and two. I just did one through eight. Um, the AI will understand what that is. I'm not worried about that. You know, and then it kind of starts coming, talking about distribution, content distribution mix. And I think that this is right, right? YouTube is definitely going to be a huge part of what I'm doing. And LinkedIn will be a huge part of what I'm doing. And then threads is really just like where I talk shit. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, John, he hangs out on threads. Uh, and so here we go. Once I have these answers, we can draft banners. We can lay out a 90 day plan and we can provide some sample copy. Okay. So now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and I'm going to see what it comes back with. We're going to look through the results. We're going to audit what it says. And then we might offer some more suggestions. Here's what you never want to do. Don't just take the first thing that this gives you. That's never going to be quality. It's just going to be a the fastest attempt to get you off its back, okay? Because what I want you to understand here is that in AI, it's actually lazy. It's trying to do the least amount of work or calculation to give you the answer that it think you thinks you want. And so you need to be very precise. And if you see something that you don't like, you need to push back. And so we're going to talk through that. We're going to see how that breaks down and how that all works as time goes on, obviously. But I just want to make that very clear and very apparent. We never take the first draft and copy and paste. Never. Okay. All right. So here we go. Key takeaway. Read this first. So it's telling me all the banner times. It's giving me a cadence lock in. It is giving me my goals, right? Because I told it that I wanted to get people to sign up for my email list for my prompt and profit community. That's a huge goal that I want to try and do. I'm going to try and build up a massive community of folks who are passionate about this stuff where we all learn together. The voice, full throttle John, totally unfiltered, no BS, financially freeing, but always integral, right? Like that's, I feel like that's my character. No fucking bullshit and in all directions, right? I'm not gonna pull a punch to spare your feelings, but I'll never fuck you over and give you bad advice either. I'm always gonna tell you like it is. And so that's good, I think it caught that well. Uh, and then launch trigger, next week. Uh, this this is the second video already. So like by the time you see this, like this will already be in motion, right? Because like I'm gonna put this video out on like a Tuesday or a Thursday and I'm recording it on a Sunday. And so you're going to go ahead and see already this in motion by watching this video. This plan is in motion already. So let's go ahead and move on. Here we go. Banner refresh. And so here's the specs, the safe zone, design cues, and then the CTA. So this is YouTube, right? Upper right corner, join prompt and profit. And then there'll be like a button link because you can actually insert those. And then LinkedIn, here's the size, here's the visual, here's the tagline. Now, I think in the next video, what we'll do is we can actually go start creating some of this with some other AI. But um, before we wrap this one up, let's go ahead and keep going through. So here we go. 90 day multi-channel content plan starting July 15th, 90 days and pushes us through October the 12th. Here is our pillars and focus. Okay. So prompt and profit. Uh, that's this. Like we're going to build together in public 35%. John Levesque Tutorials, also this, 30%. So 35% community activity, 30% actually creating material, right? 
Uh, now, Seek Build in Public. I'm going to talk a lot about Seek. It's coming to fruition very fast. In fact, by the time this video comes out, probably within like two weeks of the time this video comes out, we'll have a release that you can play with, which is super exciting. Uh, and then we'll talk about vibe coding, a lot of other things. I think, you know, that's going to kind of fit in here with the tutorials. Uh, I think, you know, this 10% kind of probably fits into that above and beyond. Uh, but anyways, here we go now looking at our days, right? Look at channel and and schedule. What items are we doing on what days? Very exciting. Now, here is where we're, how we're going to grow the email. And so they say create a prompt pack, 25 money-making AI prompts. I actually already created a prompt guide, 10 prompts to expand your thinking and your productivity. These are epic prompts. Like I love these prompts. I use them all the time. They've been a massive growth hack for my abilities. And so I'm super excited. That's So you'll see that coming to fruition. CTAs everywhere, cross-pollination, collaboration, right? Guest starring. If you have been with me on my YouTube, you know that's a huge one for me. I love to bring other people on and let them show what they're building. And then, you know, obviously we got to always keep the authenticity test. We don't want to come across like cheesy or unrealistic or ungrounded, right? Moving on now, some sample posts. LinkedIn, I just quit corporate life. This time I'm betting on three things, AI travel and radical transparency, right? So, so the, here's like an idea for something to jump off. Now, unfortunately, some people would just literally just copy this, right? They'll head over to LinkedIn and they'll go paste it. Don't fucking do that, okay? Don't. Like everybody knows that this is AI because you know why? Because it's way different than how you normally post. And so it's super important that if you're going to use AI to enhance your social media presence or to help give you a head start, don't copy and paste. Modify everything. Put your voice into it. Or start to train the model to be more like your voice, right? And so I just want to make sure and call that out too. I think, you know, it's not only important to understand how to use these things technically, but it's also important how to use them like socially and professionally. And copy paste is just not it. Everybody knows, everybody hates it. You're not going to gain the audience you're looking for by copy and pasting straight out of here. Okay, so a couple YouTube videos. So this one says, turn GPT into your side hustle partner. Uh, in the description, download the PDF pack and join the prompt and profit community. I mean, you're going to see that. That's going to be down in the description. I will say download the prompt pack and join the community. Both those links will be there. And then here's the really cool part, I think, is there's always like a couple things, a checklist that comes along with something like this. So here's what I need to do, right? Design the banners, uh, record my first tutorial. Well, guess what? I'm doing that now. Uh, the banners will come next. Draft my prompt pack PDF, done. Prepped my LinkedIn and threads teasers, gotta do that. And then send the newsletter number zero to the first few people who sign up, right? And so like, I have an actionable list of what I can do this week to actually kick this thing off. And so it's gonna be pretty exciting. Like I'm actually gonna do these things. Like you're gonna watch this video number one, you're gonna see in subsequent weeks, I will do these things. Uh, and so final guardrails, right? Swing, swingling, I don't know what the hell that is. Keep visuals high contrast, track KPIs, reassess content mix every 30 days, right? Because like, here's the other thing. We're going to be trying some things. ChatGPT is suggesting some things. We're going to be trying some things. Some shit might not work, right? So we have to be ready to shift and change and come up with some new ideas. Uh, and so check it out. Ready to roll? I am ready to roll. But that takes us to the end of this video. I hope this gives you a basic brief overview of how to get started with ChatGPT and how to just jump in and start planning. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to overthink it. Just go ahead and start chatting and asking it to help you solve some of your problems today. Just remember, be detailed. You saw what I did. I gave it lots of information. I wasn't afraid to be verbose. And I also told it to ask me questions so I could give it more information. If you just remember, quality in, quality out, shit in, shit out, you'll be okay. That's it for me for today, you guys. 
Thanks for hanging out. Much love. I'll see you in the next one.